Hey folks, Pete Fiddler here. As I threatened to do, I'm going to do a little pick comparison. Flat picks we're talking about here. This is the little uh, Daddario casein pick that I recently found online and bought uh, in the US. It cost me about $35, I think, um, to get that shipped back here. It'll cost you twice as much if you buy that in Australia. It's just how it goes. Um, 1.4 millimeter, pretty standard issue, sort of heavy flat pick. I like these large triangular picks. I'm comparing it to a uh, my, my old standard pick, this is a blue chip, Chris Thiele model, that's very shiny, CT55. I think that works out to the same uh, same width as that casein pick, 1.4. Tell me if I'm wrong, they feel the same. And this is the uh, control measure. This is a Tunlop Prime Tone, which I also like these picks, and I've, I've used them a lot, and I've given away a lot. So this is my last one. Um, it's uh, had had all the uh, logo on it. It's kind of worn away, but yeah, that's that's the same sort of thing. Triangular pick, um, not really super pointy. Actually, this uh, the casein pick. I guess it's probably the pointiest out of the three in terms of what's happening there. Um, in terms of feel, before I even play a note, I, I really like the feel of the new casein pick. Um, it does feel uh, like tortoise shell. It feels pretty organic, which it is. It's made out of milk proteins. Um, and I like the feel of the blue chip. They're both solid grip picks. You, know, you, you feel like you've got a positive grip on those. And the prime tone, the reason I... I don't use these as my main pick when I'm doing a gig or whatever, mainly because they don't feel as secure. They're just a little bit slippery. Um, not too bad. I mean, there's, there's hardly any difference that I can tell in feel, look, and sound. Well, look, you know, they're the same thing. Um, so I guess, is this an exercise to see? Is it worth spending the extra money on, you know, a blue chip pick or a Daddario casein pick, or should you just buy a you know a, a bag of these Dunlop Prime Tones? Don't ask me. I'll just buy anything that comes on onto the market. I like trying them all. We're going to start with the uh, casein pick because this this is the new one. So Daddario casein 1.4. I've got a microphone here, is a, Ro a Rode K2, it's a condenser thing. Just a little bit of compression there in case I hit it too hard. Hopefully that's not going to blurt too much. So I'll, I'll just set up some, some little strums and let's see if we can tell the difference at all between these picks. Okay, done, uh, the uh, Daddario casein. Okay, here's the blue chip Chris Thiele. Here's the Dunlop Prime Tone. If there's any interference in the sound there, it, uh, these are unscientific conditions and uh, one of my cats is actually mushing against the mic stand. So he could kindly just bugger off. I'm talking to him. Anyway, it's a rainy, cold day in Bendigo. What else are you going to do? 
compare some pics. So I don't know if I could tell any difference at all. Maybe uh, the prime tone was a bit clacky. I mean, they're all going to make that noise if I do that. But there he goes again. <laughs> so this is the prime tone, and I'll just strum it a bit. Scene pick. This is my blue chip. All right, let's try a tune. So I'm still on the blue chip here. Scene pick. secure. Here's the prime tone. The Dunlop prime tone. is good. It's the prime tone. Like I said, maybe it doesn't feel as secure as the others, but is it $40 less secure? I don't know. This is the K, K San again, and the cat's mushing again on the mic stand. Sorry about that. Here's the blue chip. And uh, back to the prime tone. Okay. Try something a bit more delicate, so that was the blue chip. Here's the case scene. And here's the prime tone. tell a whole lot of difference between the blue chip 
and the Daddario casein pick. They're very similar. Um, they don't have that clackiness that the Prime Tone has that I said before, but um, I've only really noticed that when I'm, I'm playing loud with the Prime Tone. Um, I think the Prime Tone's a great pick. I think my blue chip, I'm going to stick with that because that's the one I know. But the casein, I'm going to have fun just playing it in. I've only had it for a day. And um, I think it's nice. See you next time, folks. Hope that was of some interest. Cheers.